I recently picked up this Roku at a garage sale and I was interested in it because it has the composite video on it and I could hook it up to my old TVs, but it didn't come with a remote. But it does have uh, this, what looks like an infrared window on the front, so I figured I could probably use it with my universal remotes. And I have lots of universal remotes, but none of them have a code for the Roku. And I know what you're saying, just use your phone. You can get an app for the phone which, which controls the Roku, but that doesn't do you any good until you get this thing on your LAN. And to do that, you have to set up the Wi-Fi and you need the remote control to do it. Since at least one of my remotes is a learning remote, I'm going to use an Arduino to reprogram it and add the codes for the Roku. Doing infrared on the Arduino is actually really easy and there's very few components you need. You really only need the infrared uh, LED and a resistor. I threw in another LED so I could monitor it. And because I had it, I also put in one of these little receivers. Uh, it's actually a really, really old one that I probably got 25 years ago from Radio Shack, but I really won't be using that to program the learning remote. I found the codes for the Roku remote online in Pronto Hex format. The Pronto Hex format is actually very simple. It's just a coding of the pulses for on and off. I was able to convert it to simple decimal on-off codes in hundreds of microseconds, which is what I wrote my Arduino program to work with. Here's the Arduino, here's the Roku, and I hooked the Roku up to the computer and I'm, I'm watching the video on the screen here. So with the, with the Arduino hooked up to the computer, and I have a console where I can type the pulse codes into it, I'm going to cut and paste the down command, and you'll see that it does move down. I did go through that to set up the Wi-Fi on it initially. It was a bit tedious, but it, it let me verify that the Roku was working. Next thing to do is to program new codes into my learning remote. Put the remote into learning mode, and then I'll have the Arduino send the new code to program the remote. So I hold down the button on the remote, and then paste the command. And you see the remote learned it. I found that sending the code 12 times was how many times it took for the remote to see it. So now with the remote programmed, you can see that it does work, and I can use a real remote and not have to hassle with using the phone. Be sure to check out my blog at instantricity.com. I've also posted the Arduino code for this project there.